my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Christy. Christina with a K. Hey, Christina with a K. Hey, 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 girl. Hey, boy. How you doing? How you feeling today? We're doing a really simple look with Danessa Myricks products. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys real quick how I created this real easy eye. And I'm so excited because it turned out so cute. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys know this is a hair channel we do wigs we do makeup we do skincare we do a lot over here so make sure you hit that subscribe button but today we're focusing just on the eyes so definitely stay tuned if you want to see how i created this look using Vanessa Myricks products and i'm not going to go deep into the foundation and all of that i do have separate videos for that so check the description box below but let's go don't i can hear y'all but let's go ahead and get started so for the sake of timing i already did one eye off camera this is the eye that we're going to be creating so i'm going to start off with my danessa myricks color fix pigment this is one of the mattes and i have the color rustic so initially it slipped my mind the best way to work with this pigment. I think it's better to go in with like a makeup plate and then work from there. So I just put a dab on that plate because a little does go a long way. And then I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and I'm building up that color to my desired look. So I do end up going in and dabbing more from that plate. This pigment is so pigment that I didn't want to put too much on and kind of be stuck. If you go on Danessa Myrick's website she does kind of like to smear it on using a flat brush so you can do either way of what works best for you so now i'm going to go in with that same brush and not adding more product and i'm just going to buff out that end the good part about this pigment that i love is that it does actually dry down to a nice kind of eyeshadowy finish like a powdery finish so it doesn't stay too liquidy as much as it does look like liquid it does kind of dry down really nice and i'm just buffing it out and it buffs out so smooth y'all like i really feel like I went in with some eyeshadow and it's liquid so that's basically the first layer of what I'm going for and then I'm going to go in with this yellow color to create that eyeshadow on top of my lid this is primary yellow and it's a really nice true yellow again I'm going in on my plate and I'm using a more flat brush because I did want to go ahead and kind of create a soft cut crease look but not a cut crease I think I should have went in with a bigger brush hair, but you know, these working with these things are all trial and error. That's makeup girl. You know, you just gotta go what works for you. It's no real rules to this. You just kind of play and go with the flow. So after I finish putting as much pigment as I want on there, I'm just doing like half of my lid. I'm going to go in and kind of buff out that outer corner using the same color that we used initially and as you see how beautifully this rustic is blending in with that yellow like it's coming together so nice and this dries really fast so keep that in mind that you know these pigments do dry fast also decided to go in and soften up that cut crease look that I had because I didn't necessarily want a cut crease so I'm just kind of blending out that that lid more now I'm going in with ballerina this is a metallic shade and I'm going to put it in the corners of my eye and I also did kind of go in and put some on my brow bone I did that off camera but I'll show you later but yeah it just really pops out that lid more so I'm going in with just a little bit because again like I said a little goes a long way and underneath my eye I'm smoking it out with again the same rustic color just using a small flat eyeshadow brush you don't want to use a fluffy one here because you want it a little bit more controlled and I want it a little bit more precise underneath my eyes so now I'm just gonna go in and do my cheek I'm gonna do that with this illuminating veil I'm gonna highlight I love the fact that over the holidays she had like some gift sets I told y'all before stock up during the holidays if you want to try different stuff so that's why it's a little smaller and this is the color tempest and look how how pretty that is y'all like you can use this underneath like a regular no makeup makeup day with like a tinted moisturizer and it'll look so pretty so now I'm going in with rustic again and you could use this as a blush so I'm going in on my cheeks and again because it's so pigmented y this stuff is vibrant y'all like a little goes a long way but it's okay I'm buffing it out and I'm just using it as my blush I know it looks crazy right now but trust the process 
of makeup. This is stuff that's all going in underneath my foundation and voila. I put my foundation off camera. I finished putting on my eyelashes off camera. I have separate videos for all of that stuff so I'll leave links. And if you guys noticed underneath my brow bone I did go off camera and put a little bit of ballerina to kind of pop out the arch right underneath my eyebrow and highlight it more. So now with my lips I'm going in with rustic again and look how pretty that is y'all like you can use this stuff everywhere it dries down to a nice matte so I'm using it as a lipstick and then I was like this is so pretty this is so pretty so let's go in and pop it out some more so I'm going in with that same ballerina color and I'm putting it just in the middle of my lip this is like a tip if you want your lip to pop and look more luscious and bigger and fuller Go in with a highlight right in the middle of your lip. I'm so happy the way this turned out. It's so pretty. You can't tell me that's not pretty. So now I'm just gonna finish off my hair, of course, and finish it all off. I do have a separate video for this hair. I'll leave a link below. I'll drop some comments below and let me know if you like the way this eye turned out. I think it turned out so pretty, so soft. We were able to get multi uses out of the same product in multiple places of our face and it just turned out so beautifully. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're here for this content. Hair is linked in the cards. Give this video a thumbs up and I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye.